Good morning. Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. I've got new stuff. I've got new stuff to show you. This is hot. Hot. I just poured it. And it's like super hot. It's been warming up in the warmer for a long time. Because it's like burn your like gas station coffee hot. You know what I mean? Like whenever you get black coffee from a gas station and you like literally burn your whole tongue off. That's how hot this is. That's gonna have to go cool off. Good morning! Say hi when you hop on so I can see who is watching. If you're watching this on the replay, comment replay. You'll know if you're on the replay because it won't say live up at the top or it won't have the red dot. So that's how you'll know if you're catching this on the replay. But for those of you with me live right now, say hi. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Leslie. I got it at Walmart. Walmart.com. Who knew? Walmart actually has some cute clothes sometimes. All right, got three new goodies. Hey, Alana. Hi, Marissa. How is everybody? Okay, three new splurges. You can only get them this month in this month's kudos. They are metallic. Okay, so I'm going to put primer on and then we're going to look at them, okay? Because I'm going to use them today, of course. Well, at least one of them. Hey, Sydney. Hi, Christina. I just saw your comment. Okay, we're just going to put a little touch of primer on. Ridge is sick. He got the stomach flu last night, so... He's relaxing, watching a movie. Go, Melissa. You rock, girlfriend. Yay! I still don't have the brush cleaner. I'm still waiting for that, but I got this. <gasps> so, that's okay. I'm excited to try the brush cleaner, though. Okay, let's look at these and decide which one we should use. This is mysterious. They're all metallic. They're like right in between the um, matte and the uh, shimmer ones. Like their density and their color and everything is like if they had a baby. It's not shimmer, it's metallic. So it's like got a sheen to it. And I swear you guys, metallic is like my new favorite thing. Ferocious. That's pretty, huh? And here's the last one. Treasured. It's like a really, this is like the metallic version of extravagant. How pretty is that? Which one should we use? I'm t kind of torn between these two. Ferocious is the blue. And then mysterious is this beautiful maroon. I love them both. I love them both. I love them all, but those two are probably my fave. Every time I say that, though, the one that's my least favorite ends up being my favorite on. Have you guys ever noticed that? I'm going to use this for my transition color. Which one do you want to see? The blue? Everybody's saying ferocious. I'm surprised. I thought everybody would want to see the other one. Ferocious, ferocious. Christina, I thought everybody would be saying mysterious. This is a really pretty transition color. One of our pressed shadows. It's like a nice, soft, little pinky color. I love it. I actually love to even wear it alone. It's just really pretty. I actually love, like, light pink eyeshadows. I never thought I would until I got one, and I was like, hmm, these are actually, like, really perfect and go with everything. We have two mysterious and a bunch that say ferocious, which is the blue. Um, I have to look. Put it on a little heavier on the other side, so I gotta make a match now. Okay, we're going to use this for transition. 
Hey, j -Raz. I got this at Walmart.com. I just told my friend that. Isn't it cute for Walmart? Heck yeah. And on clearance. I don't think you can beat that. I shouldn't spill the beans. I should pretend like I got it from some really cool boutique or something, but... We all know that I like to buy clothes and I like to buy them cheap. I worked retail for a long time, so hard for me to buy expensive clothes. Okay, it looks like we have a lot more people. Oh my gosh, Carrie, this bun is like a nightmare. If you guys saw my hair before this, well, some of you that are on my team did see my hair before this in the team page. It was something. Something. So, up in the bun it goes. Alright, why am I shaking this? Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, I kind of, like, don't know how dark this is going to be, so I'm like, what is this going to look like? Need my clean shadow brush. Apparently someone jacked my color cleaner again. How does that happen? So, I'm going to use this freaking old towel that's sitting here. My son thinks my color cleaner is so cool, and now I can't find it. Hi, Hannah! Oh, Carrie, you are... Far too kind to me. I love you, though. You're like my idol, Miss Superwoman. How is everybody today? Anybody doing anything fun for Saturday? We're not. We're not. I thought about going to my sister's or Billings or something, but with Ridge being sick, we're just going to stay home. Hi, Ramona. I just saw your comment. Thanks, Shaylin. It is Shaylin, right? I ask you this every time. Blanche, you're on live. Hi, you always catch me on the replay, but this time you caught me on live. Okay, that comes out very easily. I'm going to scrape a little off because I don't know exactly what it's going to look like. Oh, that sounds so fun, Leslie. Hannah, <laughs> typical ranch life. Carrie, that sounds so fun. Ramona, do you have daughters in dance or do you have like nieces or something in dance? That'll be fun. Okay, I'm going to start white because I just don't know. What this is going to be like, okay? So we're going to play it safe just for a moment. Okay, it's not that bad at all. We're going in full force. Hi, Casey. Oh, that's awesome, Ramona. You'll have to post pictures so I can come stalk your page. How old is she? Okay, we're going in with the blue. We're dabbing. Hi, Anil. We were going to come see you today, but Ridge got the stomach flu. Middle of the night, like always. Why does the stomach flu always, always hit in the middle of the night? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and now you don't want the stomach flu? Alright, we're going to take this out. Ooh, you could make a total wing with this. Look at that. All I did was dabbed it on and look. I'm not doing a wing, but how easy would that be? Thanks, Heather. Thank you, thank you. I love new clothes. Everybody that knows me will tell you clothes is, like, my favorite thing. Alright, we're just going to come out a little bit. 
in the outer V. And I'm going to soften it. Oh, it's pretty. It's really pretty. Help me! With what? You are out of it? Hmm. What is it? Just a brush. Can I do this? No. Don't do that, Carve. Why? How do you... Get out of this. What is wrong with this thing? Always having some issues. Let's try this one. Carp, can you stop? I can't have that in it. He shot his bow sheet. I literally just don't know how to do eye stuff. So turn it up to where you can't hear me talking. It seems like Android stuff is so, so, so much easier. I don't know how to do it, bud. Maybe go like this. But to do on Ethan, you know, being bored because of the rain. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't know, I'm just depressed because of the rain. Hmm, I don't know, Carve. Ask Ridge if he knows how to get out of it. Stop being emo and to do something. Like, look, you want to do that. Yeah. Ask Ridge if he knows how to close out of it. You have I everything, and now how can you be I illiterate? Yeah, I can't ever, I can't ever seem to get it. Have Ridgey try. He's pretty good at it. Or Zuri. It's like, why is it so difficult? On Android, there's a back button on the bottom of your screen. I thought you had an iPhone, Anel. This whole time I thought you had an iPhone. Mac like the computer? I just got the Google Pixel 2. Because I was considering getting the iPhone X, but iPhone stuff is so hard to use that I decided not to. Kind of pretty. How did I think you had iPhone? You used to have an iPhone, right? For sure, you used to. Yes, it's the new splurge. Oh, well, I guess I don't pay attention enough. Sorry. <laughs> oh my good lord. Who runs their phone over besides you and dad? You and dad are the only two people I know that run their freaking phones over. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to see if I need to soften this a little bit. Yay! Can't wait to see it. I love metallic everything. 
Metallic is pretty. Especially the metallic lips. Love those too. <clears throat> Where is a good brush for this? Maybe you? You should get the job done. Uh-oh. Where'd that brush go that I was using? I swear this happens to me every day. Here it is. What do you think? You like the blue? Or nay? Yes, this is the blue one. Oh my gosh, you ran your phone over. That's hilarious. This is ferocious. She's pretty, huh? Alright, we're going to do the other eye. And then... We'll see what the other colors look like. I saw somebody put um, the maroon one on their lips. And it was super, super, super pretty. Super pretty. Apparently metallic stuff is like trending because it seems like it's everywhere. And you could totally just do like that. Like a little, you know, just do the lid. I think. And that would be really pretty too. Just like kind of simple, but it's like dark and looks really pretty. You know what I mean? Or you could pull it out a little more. Depending on what you're going for. Watch this. It's so going to be a liner. I think I might just do um, the lid tomorrow because that was really, really pretty. Oh, you could totally put dark on your lid. You just gotta try it. You'll actually probably like it a lot once you do. Come, I didn't even used to really wear eyeshadow, like at all. Maybe like a nude nude brown. Like not brown even, but more like a tan. You will love it. I think tomorrow I'm just gonna do it on the lid and just leave it like that because I thought that was really pretty. The only time you don't usually want to put dark right here or all the way up to your brow bone. That's the only place you will start looking a little cray. If you put dark all the way up here it's gonna look weird. it's going to start looking a little funky. Or if you put it like right here, I know sometimes they do that <clears throat> like in magazines and stuff, but it tends to be a little bit like hit or miss, you know, like if you do it on yourself, at least for me, in my experience, that's the one area it starts to get a little bit like black eye look. You know what I mean? Okay. 
I'm just using iridescent. Works really good. For highlighting. Because it's a highlighter. Yes, try it out. As long as you don't put the dark up to your brow bone, you should be fine. Like I say, that's the only place where it starts usually. And then I try not to put it in the tear duct either just because that's another kind of like tricky area. But if you just put it right on the lid, you'll be fine. Use a brush like this so that you can get in the crease. You know what I mean? And you don't pass it if you just want it in your um, lid. Should we put a lip on with this? Or just leave it? Like some kind of a nude lip? What do you guys think? Hi, Millie. I miss you. I dropped the lid. <clears throat> Alright, should we put a lip on, like a metallic lip, or should we just leave it like this? Or should we do a nude? Maybe a pink? That would maybe be pretty. What do you guys think? She says that you guys are thinking about presents. Well, Millie, I got your presents here. Light pink, like a Barbie pink. Okay, okay. I can feel that. Millie, I got you one, two, three presents, I think. And I got your mom the same amount, I think. <laughs> as long as I'm your favorite aunt. Otherwise, I'm going to take those presents back. Millie, you're just like your mom with freaking presents. What? Uh, yeah, bring it here. He always wants like specific games. He likes to play hunting games. He's like, I'm so neat. You do? Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Whoa! He didn't kill everyone else. Thank goodness. That was a close one. I think you made me. I'm walking okay? So nobody get into it, okay? What? I'm locking your door. Okay, please don't lock it because God only knows if I even know where the key is. Mm -hmm. Okay, what kind of game do you want? Hunting you want, games? Yeah, where they run away and die. Okay. I already lock it. Look. Look. Well, hopefully I can unlock it. Look. No. Uh oh. What? The keyboard was just all weird. Okay, we're gonna use this. Here, bud. You've already got games downloading, but here. No, Close the door, please. This trolls as well. Huh? The bear Where is my. Ugh. Where's my sharpener? I thought it was back here. Oh, there's some stuff hiding back there. <sighs> Where could it be? Sharpener, sharpener, come out wherever you are. Hmm, that didn't work. 
didn't come out. I just had it yesterday. Oh, there it is, there it is. I found it, I found it, I found it. I need to, like, take that to the garbage or something. Good lord. Alright, we're gonna try this. Thanks, Stephanie. Oh, good girl, Millie, good girl. Anil was the same way as Millie growing up. Are you still that same way? Because remember when I said, I got you your present, and you were like, why did you tell me that? Like, you can't wait for the anticipation to see what it is. She also can't keep a secret. If you tell her what someone's present is, and they, and they don't even have to ask. Well, this was when she was a kid. I don't, I'm not saying now. But they'll be, she'll be like, I know what your present is. And they'll be like, what is it? And she'll be like, I can't tell you. And then she'll just blurt it out. So, if you're friends with Anel, don't tell her what you got anybody for Christmas. Uh, that's how Zari is with her secrets. It's a little scary sometimes. Like, when, um, my sister and Elle, so Zari's my daughter, who's 10, and Millie is almost 3, so like, however long ago that was. See, you almost told me through commenting, through typing. Okay, so whenever we found out Anel was pregnant, um, my grandparents came over. And so Zuri was, this would have been over three years ago because it was when we first found out she was pregnant. And so Zuri would have been like six or seven. And my grandparents came over and I was like, oh, sweet Jesus, please no. Please no. <laughs> because Zuri found out. And they didn't know, and I was like, I do not want to be the person that has to spill the beans, and I'm at home by myself, and no other adults are around to spill the beans with me. And so I was like, don't you dare tell them about Anel. As they're like walking in, because she's like, she's already thinking about it in her mind. Like, she's already planning it out. And she's like, why? I was like, you will be in big trouble, don't you dare. And so they come in, and I was just, like, sitting on pins and needles this whole time, like, please, 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 please don't tell them. <laughs> and then they come in, and, you know, we're, like, talking, and so he's, like, the whole time. And then they go to the bathroom, and she's, like, I really feel like I want to tell them about Anil. And I was, like, don't tell them. Do not tell them. And then... They come back out, they like went to the bathroom or to get something out of the car or something. I was like, don't tell them. Do not tell them. And I'm just like, please, can we make it through this next 15 minutes? And then my grandma was talking to me and she's like, oh, I talked to Anel yesterday or just something said Anel. And Zuri was like, oh, they said Anel. And I was like, keep your little mouth shut. And by the time they left, I was like, Oh my, thank you, God, because somehow we made it through the whole 20 minutes without spilling the beans. It was intense. It was intense. Not my idea of fun, because I'm not, like, one of those people that likes to spill the beans. I was just, like, having an anxiety attack on the inside this whole time, praying to sweet baby Jesus that Zuri didn't tell them. And somehow we made it through. I don't know who ended up telling them. I just knew I didn't want it to be me. I just knew that. So, I think it's pretty safe to say that Zori gets that from her aunt. Because she doesn't get it from me. Anyways, I told her, no, what, oh, I got your Christmas present today. That's what I told her. And she was like, why did you tell me that?
now I want to know what it is. I was like, you're just going to have to wait. And this was like a month ago. I feel a little bit like Barbie right now with blue eyeshadow and pink lipstick. But my hair's not in a pony, it's in a bun. And... Barbie's hair is always down or in a pony. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thanks for hopping on with me. These are the new splurges. We used this one today, Ferocious. And you can get all of these in our kudos for this month. And it's $59 for all three. Normally the set is $70 and then they're $26 a piece. So it's actually a super, super good deal. And just so you know, like if you see these and you're like, well, I like that color, but that one's not really for me. You can choose from three of any of all the splurges on our website. The mattes, the shimmers, and these three exclusive to this kudos. Yeah, I pretty much covered my lips with lip liner and then I put a little glossy over it. Night out, Barbie. Yeah, if I curled my hair. But these are the three, so you got to grab them in this one's kudos if you want them. And you can get anything at my website, wakeupandmakeupwithsavannah.com. Thank you so much for hopping on with me. You guys make it so, so fun. And tomorrow, either I'm going to use this blue again, and I'm just going to put it on the lid, or I'm going to try out these other two colors, which is Treasured and this one, which I think will be my fave, Mysterious. So pretty. Have a great day, you guys. Thanks so much for hopping on with me, and I will talk to you later.